Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make pagination by using Bootstrap, PHP, MySQL and simple steps and I want you to follow me along and you will get your page to work as uh, mine are working. But before we continue, I have to show you a quick demo on what you are going to achieve by watching this video. First of all, if you take a closer look, you can see that I have my list of my records from the database. I have all this one from um, the names the age the sex and the address and when i try to access the pagination as you can see that they work just fine and the, another thing that you have to check is that you can press on previous and previous again and previous again and when you reach on the page one you can see that there is no other previous and this works as the same for the next and when you press the next as there is no other page available it will never uh, go to the page five where there is now the empty records so and the other thing that you have to check is, is that you, when you take a closer look in the browser you can see that there will be the url on the specific page that we are accessing the files on and i make this very simple so as to be able to understand for the beginners but if you want to uh, to add further adjustments that uh, you, you don't need to load the page this time we call this you can continue watching the videos that i will really make in the future by using the ajax and to continue i'm going to give you the starter file i'll give this for free but and you can go ahead and yeah download the files right away okay so this is now the starting files you can see that there will be no, no records you will see the pagination are not working you can see there is nothing works here but it is now our responsibility to make it work and don't get scared it doesn't uh, I take a lot of energy as long as you follow my video where so enough of talking so let's go ahead and go to the straight to the point so i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to open my code editor i'm using vs code you can see now this is now the starter file that i'm going to make it work and make it powerful for you guys and the quick things i'm going to show you on my the configuration that i use to access my database to insert the records to delete them or to fetch them all right so i'm going to sh show you this file which is called app this is now actually the folder that contains all the files and uh, this is the file that you wrote all other files that i have to load this is now the configuration file uh, this is where now there is the the access to the database uh, the uh, access to the other things like url root and other stuffs uh, here there is now another file that contains all the methods that i'm going to use by using uh, uh, this video and the the now the instance of the database that we'll be calling to access all these methods all right so uh, i'm going to try to access the rows from the database and to do that first of all i have to to call the files that continue that contains all the configuration and i'm going to require once this uh, require once and i'm going to require it is in the app folder and it is called bootstrap bootstrap.php and this is now the file that, con that contains all the configurations and after opening this i can go ahead and close my php by this time uh, it was able to bootstrap okay right there, i think bootstrap.php and the next stuff that we're going to do is try to uh, to write the r uh, the query that can fetch our uh, data from the database and it is very easy it's a piece of cake and to do that i'm going to um, come on here under the t head in here and this is where i'm going to write my query and i'm going to call this uh, i'm going to make a variable that's called students and these students will be a query that will query all the laws from the database and i'm going to first of all use the uh, connect which is now the db and i'm going to point to the, the get laws from uh, get rows, I think I made this get rows, and what this will do, it will we connect to the database and try to get rows. And in here, this is where I'm going to write my uh, query select um, or from students and uh, students like this one. But before I do that, you have to make sure you start the PHP like this, like this. All right, and after doing that you can go ahead and try to access all the individual files and in here it will 
try to uh, to re try to return the associative array but we'll have to loop over the array to get all the data that we need to do that i'm going to go ahead and uh, make the initialization as zero and we have to use for each loop for each and i'm going to say students uh, as students again and to we have to loop and to we have to take the init and to have to increment all right and after doing that you can go ahead and uh, and cross it like this one i hope this will work to test if it works you can go ahead and um, use for example let's say var dump and i'm going to make it uh, like a student and after this i'm going to go ahead and exit let's test if it, this works uh, and i'm going to go on the index page in here and try to refresh you can see that it was able to return all this which means that our query is working and we are now accessing the data as expected so let's get rid of this because we were only testing and uh, you can test any other parameters from here on so uh, as now we have seen that our things are working as expected we can go ahead and try to access now the this tiara method and so uh, let's try to access this we have to leave this loop open and after leaving this loop open uh, i'm going to go where it is right and tiara and press enter i'm going to to, to insert some uh, record in here so to do that in the td i'm going to try to put in some uh, parameters or some uh, other codes to display the data and what i'm going to do is to record the students and we call these students and in here i will have to call the id as the first uh, that as the first field from the database and after doing this i can go ahead and close like this all right i'm going to duplicate this a couple of times to get all the desired data and i'm going to change it for the names and i'm going to call for the age and i'm going to call for the sex oh damn uh, for six here and i'm going to call the, uh, the address i think address is written like this one all right so after doing that uh we will have also to close so as to be able to match or the this this one to match it i will come under here and i will have to open the php again and i will have to put this and i will have to close all right i uh, think we are ready to test if it is now able to fetch our data so let me come on the here and try to reload you can see that it was able now to return all these records from the database you can see it was able to return the names the age the sex and the address and all the ids but as you as you are seeing you can see that it is super messy as the we, we can't be able to to lead as we have like a million records or so so i'm going to limit this and we have to limit the data on the we have to limit the data on the on the display as we need so to do that i'm going to try to use the limit on the on the query where here it is for example let me say limit to five records and when you try to reload in here you can see that you can be able to remit the record to five and it can be very uh, good and even leadable so to do that i'm going to use the dynamic methods because we, we can't be we can't always come here to limit in the query it can make our lizard not as uh, expected we want to make things dynamic so to do that i'm going to make a variable that is called remit and i'm going to assign the five all right and after making the remit we can also be able to make now the page and we have to make the starting page okay so to make it very good i'm going to define another variable and i'm going to call it this page and this page it will be a, a request that will be requested on the gate and i'm going to use is set 
and I'm going to use the super global which is now the gate like this one and to have to use the page and that page what to be remains to be able to fetch it on the URL to the browser and don't worry we we'll see uh, in a bit on what this means and we have to use this uh, conditional statement and we have to say to put like this one i'm going to explain to you guys hey, don't worry in a bit i'm going to explain this all right and i'm going to do like uh, let me make this one all right okay i think we are ready to go and what i did here i was saying that page it will be set to get page to get the page from the browser and if the page if now we have this if this is a variable a uh, only it will, it will return the page number one and that what it means is this is now the conditional statements you can take a closer look and you can see how it works if you don't know um, how it works you can go back and see on how to use the conditional statements in the php so and the next step that we're going to do is to make the starting point the starting point it will depend on the pages i will have to take all the total pages the top top page and after taking the top total pages i will have to negative one and i will have also two times the remit that, that we set all right all right so this is now how you can implement that all right so after implementing the page we have to uh, and establish the, the limit and the starting we are going to come back in the query uh, but this is this will come before this so okay after we establish the start the, this one and this you can see that we can be able to limit by using the starting and the limit so i'm going to go ahead and replace this with the start and uh, the second parameter will be now the limit all right so let's check it out it's working let's try to put for example let's limit by um by seven records so let's check out let's check out you can see now it was able to limit by seven and this is now very good and uh, the next thing that we're going to taste is now for the page and to do that we have also to to count the number of the records that we have on the database so to do that i'm going to copy this and we're going to to change for a little bit i'm going to to, to call this uh, what can i call it? let me call it total and instead of using star i'm going to use count it is going to, it is going to count the id as id from students and we will have to get rid of this because we don't want this in this statement and what this will do to will have to take the total um records and it will return the integer that contains the number of the records that we have now okay so uh, and after this we have now to calculate all the pages that you needed but before we do that we have to make another variable that we tell exactly what the what id is and i'm going to call this count and what count we do it will take uh, the total and it will have access it will access the first and after accessing the first and we're going to, to access the id again like this one all right and what this will do it will have to count or by using this id but it will use this first uh, uh, it first element in the array so i'm going to go ahead and try to calculate the, the total pages i'm going to make these total pages like this one i'm going to to use this formula to get the total page we can take the count that we were working on and i'm going to over the remit all right after doing this uh there will be something weird in here because uh, sometimes you can see to return the decimals but we can use the seer method the britain method to limit this and to really work with no issues all right good so 
after doing that uh the next thing that i'm going to do is to come where there is now the navigations and i'm going to try to make a loop that we uh, take all this and uh, implement some parameters in here so to do that uh but let's, let's refresh to make sure there is not no error in there so i'm going to limit by five again uh, let me see where it is it's weird I'm going to limit by five you can limit to however you want that i was showing you the, the example there so i'm going to limit by five again so we had is now written it where the navigation are here they are there is now this for one two three i'm going to get the rid of these two and i will remain with one only and you have to loop over so as to have the dy the dynamic data instead of having all the data as predefined or hard coded so to do that i'm going to come in here and i'm going to make to call a php again and after making the php i'm going to for i'm going to assume that for i as now the variable is go to one and i'm going to compare i with the total number of pages and if i'm going to take i is less than or equal to total pages all right in this case this variable i will be increasing all right and to do that after i will have to put this double colon to, in to indicate the starting and i'm going to close the php all right and in here what i'm going to do next is now to try to output the number of uh, pages in here so instead of having this one i'm going to try to a uh, php echo i'm going to type php uh, php echo and i'm going to put i and i'm going to cross like this one and let's give it a save and test you can see that there is a problem we didn't end the four <laughs> and uh, to end the four we have to end it here and four all right okay so let's load again all right you can see now we have now this dynamic data it was able to loop and it was able to 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 bring to 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 return all the pages that will be on these paginations and when you you click on the first page or the other page you can see the data that will be contained in there all right so uh the other thing that we have to test uh, is now to 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 insert some of the pages the pages to, to insert the pages we have to put the href in here and then we have to type index.php and I'm going to put these question marks and after putting the question mark I will indicate now the number the page as equal to and I'm going to put now another here I'm going to use the PHP short form format and I'm going to echo the I all right and I'm going to cross this PHP and what this will do it will have to replace each time the page is called to replace the value of it with now this i as now it is now the iteration that we were doing in here so i'm going to go back and refresh this and when i press on two you can see that there will be problems here and i think let's see on the page Mm, here you go maybe we we try to access things like this one which is not the the appropriate way and they will have to collect it like this all right i think we are ready to go so let's come and try to deflash again you can see that now it was able to wax as now uh, expected and you can see that you can be able to access this by using this and so let's go back here on where we were we're on here and we were able to make this as dynamic but there will be the next stuff so that you have to do is now to make the previous and the next it be before we do that you have to make these variables and to make the next and the previous variables we can do it like this one let's come under here so i'm going to make the variable and i'm going to call this a previous for example previous and previous will be now i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to take the page 
and I'm, go I'm going to negative one and we have to take the previous version and uh, for the next I will do the inverse for, uh, for example I'm going to do next it will be now equal to uh, page and press one all right here we go okay good this looks fine I hope there is no errors and the next stuff that we're going to do is now to implement the next and the previous on these buttons and to do that it's very simple we can proceed the same like we did on the a uh, this and so, so i'm going to take on here and i'm going to open the php and i'm going to to let me let me try to copy this and now we have to replace so um let's take this and then we have to now to the place with uh, the appropriate data. Let me try to copy up to here. Okay. And I'm going to paste it in uh, the HLAF. And I'm going to change that to we have to to be for the next variable. And let's see. Let's see if now it works. Let's try to refresh and next is working. Okay. Good. I have to get rid of these uh, these stuff. This one and it works, that's fine. And I'm going to copy this and I will have to replace with the previous. So in here I'm going to replace this and I'm going to call the previous. All right, good. So now we can test this. When you refresh, you can see that you can use the previous page one, page two, page. All right, good. And you can see in the previous, and you can see now on the next. And but you have some issues. You can see that you can be able to access this one forever that's what i can say and there is no data displayed but we don't have to do that uh, as long as we will be having now the next you can they try to surround it in the if statement so as to limit the page that will be displayed as long as we come on here and they will have to come down in here and i'm going to say like if now uh, this page is now greater than the total pages for example total pages because we don't want to to this to go beyond the total pages and i will have now to take this and i will have to put this here and i really have to say that i uh, the first thing that i have to do is is to make sure that this is now the rate this page is less than total pages it will have to add one and in the error statement this is where we will say that and uh, next it will be now the number of total pages. I hope that makes sense. All right. So let's test this. Let's come here again. And you have to press next. You can see that it can't go beyond four. And when you take uh, on four, it will be the same on three, on uh, um, two, on one, on previous, and the next. And this is now working just fine. Yeah, this is now how you can make a simple pagination by using PHP and Bootstrap. There are many other ways to do this and you can use Ajax to make it very dynamic. But for the sake of making this video very short and uh, neat and very easy to understand for beginners, I want this video to be um, the working like this one. I hope this worked for you. Let me know in the comments if you met with any problem or any errors. But for the improvement, we can make this uh, works uh, as a charm. Uh, more than this by using the ajax and the other technologies but for this this is enough and i hope you guys you find this very interesting if you're coming on the channel for the first time make sure you sub subscribe and you like if you like this video make sure you press the likes and i will see you guys in the next one